Well guys, the time has finally come. The sad day when the CloudNet FAD service stops working. So earlier last month, NetFab got acquired by Autodesk, which means NetFab Basic and the NetFab Cloud Service disappeared forever. But what are your options now to repair your files for 3D printing? Indeed, even when we had access to NetFab Basic, it does still work if you downloaded it before it uh, disappeared. But even NetFab Basic doesn't stitch shells together for adequate 3D printing repairs. So it does basic stuff, as it implied, but it never did the full thing, which is why I always recommended the Cloud NetFab service, which is now gone. But we now have this. This is the Microsoft Tools 3D online file fixing service. And this will fix your STL files, but when you download them again, they download as a .3MF not a .stl, which is confusing a lot of people because it's difficult to get that file into most 3D printing slices. Most of them would just completely ignore it. So in this video, I'm gonna update all my previous videos by showing you how to use the new cloud service to properly fix your files, and then how to convert your .3MF back into STL using Mesh Mixer. Of course, let's get started. All right, so for demonstration purposes, I have this file here. It's three spheres that are intersecting each other. So this is three shells, although it can be exported as a single mesh file. So for example, you might load this into your slicer and some may work, but a lot will throw up errors because of the inter intersecting faces. And I can show that here by separating shells and there's three shells. But anyway, let's combine them again. And I'm gonna export this as an STL. Export three shells. All right, so now I'm going to upload it to the Tools 3D Cloud Fixing Service for Microsoft. Again, if you typed in netfab.azure websites, it will just redirect to this. So this is all we've got now to work with. I'm using a Windows 7 PC. I'm not going to even look at the uh, 3D Builder in Windows 10, not in this video, because that's not what we really care about. So I'm going to upload my file, three shells. It's going to upload to their cloud service, and then it's going to fix my file and then it's going to let me download it again. And here we have the file ready to download after it's being fixed. So it's now called 3ShellsRepaired.3MF. And just to demonstrate why we need to go through the extra steps to convert, I'm going to try to open up this file within Simplify 3D. So go to D, download. And you can see it recognizes .stls and .objs, all files, .3MF. And yeah. No chance. So as it stands, Simplify 3D can't understand .3MFs and most other slicing engines can't. So we're gonna to have to do our conversion. So I fire up Mesh Mixer and I'm going to go to import and select our three shells repaired .3MF. So Mesh Mixer does completely understand this format, which is fantastic. And this is our repaired file from the online uh, Microsoft Cloud service. So if we go to edit and uh, separate shells, no shells found. And if we go to uh, plain cut, cut through, except that's what we want. So it's a fully manifold mesh that's watertight with no intersecting faces. Awesome. And now we just need to export it. So file, export, and we can select STL. So there we go, STL binary format, and then three shells fixed. Let's just call it that. And now Simplify 3D understands what the file format is because it's an STL. Open it up and there we have it. So this is just a really quick video guys to show you the stop gap that I've come up with now that the NetFab cloud service, my beloved NetFab cloud service has disappeared. Basically you can keep using the Tools 3D version. You just need to be able to convert your .3MF to a .stl for slicing, and I just like to use MeshMix for that. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this video very useful here on Makers Music. If you want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, and reviews, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a huge amount, and I always like bringing you these sort of tips and tricks, and also trying to stay up to date with these ever-evolving tools. And look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later, guys. Bye.